Hare Krishna. The world of love manifests through the words of love. The world of love refers ultimately to the spiritual world, to the Krishna's personal abode where there is endless love, where there is constant help, where there is the soul exists eternally, Krishna exists eternally and the love between them continues eternally. And that world of love is not manifest to our perception right now. But it manifests through the words of love. The words of love refer to the words which are spoken by Krishna through scripture and by Krishna's representatives. So, Shastra, Sadhu, Guru. For the words that we get, those are the words of love which help us understand what the spiritual world is and help us experience the spiritual world through the current of devotion that comes from the spiritual world, from Krishna, through his devotees, to us. Now, uh, what is inaccessible to the senses becomes accessible to the heart through the words of love. That is how we understand the spiritual world, the world of love. Now, love, when we say the spiritual world is the love, world of love, does that mean that Love is not present in this world. Yes, love is present here also. But the love here is temporary. The love here is in that sense illusory. It misleads us. When we ca get caught in worldly love, then we don't have the facility to advance towards spiritual love. We don't have the facility to relish, uh, to relish lasting fulfillment. To gain lasting fulfillment, we need not just um, the words of, we need to understand our spiritual identity and direct our love spiritually. And such redirection, spiritual redirection of our love happens when we have the words of uh, love. So to the extent that we study scripture, to the extent that we open our heart to the words of love in scripture, to the extent the spiritual world, the ultimate world of love manifests to us. Now we may say, does this principle apply outside spiritual life also? Actually, uh, even in this material world, word of love, words of love, you know, somebody say, a boy says to a girl, I love you, and then the girl starts imagining um, Prince Charming, who comes in a, uh, on, a, on a, say, a horse, riding on a horse and sweeps her off her feet and carries her to dreamland. Or something like that people may imagine but the problem is the world of love that is imagined is imaginary in this world nothing lasts forever and neither does love last forever although people may talk about happily ever after but actually there's no ever after so that's why what we need is to recognize uh, that the in the words of love that are spoken in the movies and the novels there is only a world of imagination world of fantasy that is created there is no world of love that is manifested oh, for attaining that world of love we need to hear Krishna's words of love so Krishna assures that he, he tells us that he loves us sarva guhiyatamam bhuvyaha shunume pare mambachaha ishto sime dhudhamiti tato vakshamite hitam Sarva guhiyatam ambhuyaha, sarva guhiyatam ambhuyaha. Krishna says that he is the most confidential. Shrunume param ambhachaha. These are my supreme words. And why am I speaking them? Ishto sime drudhamiti. Ishto sime. This is extremely dear to me. Drudhamiti. You are extremely dear to me. Drudhamiti. I am determined to love you. And therefore, to benefit you, I am speaking these words. So essentially, what this verse states is that actually Krishna loves us and we are men. And he speaks these words out of his love for us. And he says to our next verse itself that if we reciprocate with him and we fix our mind on him, Krishna 
we hear from scripture and purifying our heart by which we can re realize and relish more and more of that world of love thank you great